It's a weird film. Um, it was one of those movies. I'm quite looking forward to it. Now. Well, the weird thing is, I was kind of looking forward to it, uh, you know, before it started. And at the end of it, I thought, well, you know, that was hugely silly and not entirely without entertainment value, but basically much too baggy and uh, much too long. Directed by uh, Zhang Yimou, who is a fine director and somebody who does understand how to do a spectacular set piece. So, for example, one of the ways in which they fight the beasties is they have the Great Wall and then there are these long sort of sticky out podiums which people hang off on the end of multicolored ropes whilst doing swingy so you know, all that stuff's sort of very impressive you know it's kind of like some extraordinary olympic ceremony but with marauding beasties but for the most part it is a build-up to the battle of helms deep restaged uh by you remember the battle of helms deep yeah, what, from... what, so what year is this set? so it's it's well it, it's it's song dynasty so it's in it's a it's uh, here's the best way of describing what it is it's a long time ago in a place that didn't actually exist, not in the real world. But the most important thing is this, the most important thing is this, all the stuff that's going on in terms of the plot and the narrative that there's double crossing and, you know, Matt and his partner, they both want different things. Then Willem Dafoe turns up and he's been taken prisoner before, but then maybe they'll all just escape with the, with the magic powder is all just a preamble to the fact that they're going to have a great big spectacular fight with beasties. And the problem with it is, I mean, it is it is very silly, very, very silly, not silly enough to be a kind of camp classic, but very, very silly. And all the time you're watching it, you think, I did do this before. I did do it with Lord of the Rings. The difference was with Lord of the Rings, it was all happening in Middle Earth and it didn't have Matt Damon experimenting with a range of different accents before deciding basically to do Matt Damon. <laughs> 